Well, hello everybody and welcome to this demonstration, quick demonstration of Google Podcasts and uh, how it all works, uh, in case you've not actually seen it. You'll notice there is Google Podcasts installed on my uh, Google Pixel phone. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall it. Um, what better to do uh, a demo but to uninstall the very thing that you're going to demonstrate. Right, done that now. Don't have Google Podcasts on this phone. This is your listener's phone, okay? And your listener is going to go to a very excellent website called podnews.net um, and take a look at uh, this wonderful website. It's got lots of information about podcasting. I can subscribe to a daily podcast uh, email there, all of the latest updates, blah, blah, blah. Right, and at the bottom of the page underneath our wonderful uh, supporters um, is this. There's a listen to Google, listen on Google Podcasts badge. And since I'm on an Android phone, I'm going to click it. And look what happens. I don't have, the, I don't have any app installed, but there is the Pod News podcast, and I can press the play button, and away we go. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? So, uh, absolutely no friction whatsoever. I haven't had to install an app at all. It's just there. Um, and as you can see, it's got tons of um, uh, episodes of this particular podcast in there. Um, if I have a look um, at the player, then you can see that it's got skip forward and skip back, just like any, any other podcast player. Um, it allows me to uh, vary the speed um, if I really want to do that, which I don't particularly. And on uh, this little uh, information button down here, it allows me to see the, the show notes. And the show notes look relatively ugly, uh, but still there they are. And there is a button if I want to download this episode and take it away with me. Because Google Podcasts streams. Um, just like Spotify, just like Netflix, just like Apple Music, just like any media app, Google Podcast streams, but you can download individual episodes uh, if you really want to. It's the way that everybody is used uh, to working uh, now. So there's Google Podcasts. Really simple and straightforward. I can subscribe. In this particular case, I am. And if I click up here, I can go to the front page of Google Podcasts. Um, this is what the Google Podcasts app looks like. So let's um, let's install the app. Might as well, you know. It's probably a good idea. Uh, let's go into there and install the app. Um, and you'll notice that it installed really quickly because literally the only thing that the app actually is is its one simple link uh, that goes straight into the app that you've already seen. Uh, so there you go. So um, here are the podcasts I'm subscribed to. Um, up here, there's Word of Mouth, which I haven't yet listened to. It says new, because there's a new episode. So down here, new episodes. Um, Word of Mouth and uh, my uh, Radio One uh, in progress, the ones that I've listened to. There's the Google thing right up at the top there. Uh, and there's downloads uh, in there um, as well. Um, down here, I've got lots more uh, interesting uh, podcasts that I can go and have a listen to if I really want to. A couple of interesting things in here. Firstly, yes, it's got top podcasts, as you would kind of expect. But one of the things that it has down here, for example, is top podcasts by Mouth Media Network, because I subscribe to a Mouth Media Network podcast. So therefore, it's giving me more to have a listen to, uh, which is uh, very nice. Right, let's come out of the podcast app again. And instead, I'm going to go in to Google, and I'm going to search for This American Life. And this is a Google search for This American Life. That's all that this is. And you'll notice that there are some play buttons there um, for the recent episodes of the podcast. And if I press the play button, then hey presto, there it is, buffering and playing down at the bottom. Um, and you've noticed that that has instantly again taken me to the podcast app in exactly the right place, started playing the podcast I wanted to have a listen to, and there's a subscribe button that I can click uh, if I want to. So there are three ways into this podcast app. There's way number one, which is going to your website and clicking on your Listen in Google podcast link. Way number two is to go onto Google and search for a podcast or search for anything that you're interested in and the podcast uh, will appear. And way number three uh, is to install the Google Podcasts app 
uh, if you like, um, which will take you uh, to the front screen here. And way number four, if you want to find a podcast, is you do a web, you do a search within Google Podcasts. I'm going to search for cheese because cheese is my standard testing search. And here are some podcasts all about cheese. The Chad and Cheese podcast at the top with three that I can go and have a listen to. Cutting the curd, uh, slightly underneath. And then here are a bunch more that I can go and uh, have a listen to. Uh, so there's another way uh, of getting in to the Google Podcast um, app and finding new podcasts that you want to have a listen to uh, through the uh, search uh, button uh, up here. So you can see that this is a uh, relatively basic app. And it works quite well. Um, but you can see that it's got four different ways in and most importantly your listeners don't even need it installed because it's installed automatically anyway on any Android phone. The code is actually in the Google uh, app and the Google app is installed on an Android phone because if it's not Google won't allow you to use Google Play. So it's a really simple straightforward podcast app. There it is. Um, and you should be linking to it. You should be linking to it from your website. You should be linking to it from everywhere else, um, because this will get the 79% of people who use Android um, really connected with your podcasts and really making sure that they can listen to your podcasts. Uh, you'll find more information at podnews.net, which is a jolly good website. Um, I was just going to finish by showing you podnews.net again. There we are. Um, which is a jolly good website and you'll find lots more information uh, right here about how to link to it and everything else you need to know. It's all at podnews.net.